It's Monday and time for another quick tip. In this one, I wanna talk about the power of geotagging your photos. And no, you don't need a GPS, you don't need a Bluetooth phone connection that's finicky and draining your battery, and you don't need to spend a lot of time dragging and dropping your pictures on the map. But the power that you get with a little bit of work makes your pictures so much more findable. Here we are in this map module, and of course we've got little icons on the map that show us where I captured these pictures. Now that's exactly what I said I wasn't going to talk about, or that's not the reason for geotagging my pictures. So let me show why geotagging is worth your time. I've got a small set of pictures down here that didn't get tagged. I know that because they don't have that little placement pin icon. See, you hold over that, photo has GPS coordinates. Over this one, it's missing, that's sad. Now, I don't remember exactly where I took these pictures. I do see that they are actually about the same series before and after. And it doesn't matter if you have a GPS device in your camera or your phone or connection. It is worthwhile to use. But what I'm going to show you, you don't even need that. All you need to do is drag and drop these pictures approximately where you took them. So in this case, I'm just gonna use the name of the town or the place of the town near where I captured these pictures. I'm gonna drag and drop them and let go. I guess that's what dropping is. Now over here on the right hand side, we can see that it picked up the GPS coordinates from where I dropped those pictures. They now have the little pin icons. And more importantly, Lightroom filled out this information based on that latitude and longitude. Lightroom went and looked online over here under your name panel. Address lookup, make sure it is not paused. What happens when you drag and drop a picture on the map or import pictures with latitude and longitude embedded? Lightroom will automatically go to the databases and pull up the relevant and fill it in information. So what? So now these pictures are tagged Page, Arizona. So what? Let's go back to the library. All photos. And suddenly, without keywording my pictures, they're now searchable from Arizona. So text, any searchable field contains Arizona. And suddenly, I am looking at just pictures I've captured in Arizona. That's it. I could even narrow it down to the ones that were captured just in page. Simply by dragging and dropping, I have added a ton of additional keywords that make these pictures much more findable. If you found this video helpful, please click that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe along with pressing that little bell so you're notified of future videos, tips, tricks, gear reviews, and so much more. I appreciate your watching. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.